Hey everyone, Happy New Year. So this year for my review of the books that I read and loved in 2022, I thought I'd do a video and share a few of my favorites. So it was a bit difficult to focus this year with everything happening in the world. Um, but as usual, books are a great comfort for me and I find a lot of comfort in immersing myself in another world. So here are five of my favorites. Uh, the first one is A Politics of Love by Marianne Williamson. It is a handbook for a new American revolution. So I had the pleasure of meeting Marianne when she spoke in Toronto this year. And her vision is to return back to the root of the word politics, which means of the people. She ran for president in 2019, and I really hope that she'll run again because she is exactly what the world needs right now. The next book is The Happiness Advantage by Sean Aker. So Sean has a great sense of humor. He studied happiness at Harvard, and he was able to maintain a sense of awe and magic uh, about even being there, whereas he noticed a lot of his peers got caught up in the daily competition and the stresses. He also talks about how what you do for a living affects your happiness lens. So for example, if you scan for issues, you might see things in a negative way. And he helps to identify your happiness blind spots and how to fuel a positive brain for success in work and life. The next book is Whereabouts by Jhumpa Lahiri. So this is the author of The Namesake and The Interpreter of Maladies. The book is a beautiful reflection of a woman in solitude wandering around an unnamed Italian town, finding herself and sipping lattes, kind of reminded me a little bit of someone I know. Um, she actually moved to Italy, learned Italian, wrote the book in Italian, and then translated it herself into English. So it, really is a wonder and she her sense of language is is beautiful the next book is you still look the same by farzana doctor this is a collection of poetry that is beautifully written uh, she talks about being a woman in her 40s there's actually a, a poem titled 43 she talks about past loves uh, trauma that has now informed her activism, uh, which I also am very passionate about. As well, she has quite a sense of humor, which you will see in some of the lighter poems. The last book is Loose Woman by Beth Kaplan. Beth was one of my writing instructors at U of T, and I was looking forward to this memoir where she truly does let it all loose. She doesn't hold anything back, and my favorite part is when she talks about her transformative experience when she volunteers in France. Um, I thought it was cool that her title was similar to Diary of a Loose Woman, which is a subtitle of my blog, and it kind of means the same thing for me as well, to be free in your choice of words, in your actions, to not let anything hold you back. So those are my top five books. I hope you enjoyed it and I would love to hear about your favorites too.